So at RCC, we've never done something great. We've always just done good stuff. Some unique builds here and there. Stuff that's cool. Ford Tremor. Decent. It's like a put together Tremor. It's not the true Tremor. Cool. Raptor. Yeah, looks good. Nothing. Just exotic. Crazy. Second gen. Yeah, cool truck. Everybody loves the second gen. Nobody hates the second gen. Everybody loves them. Dodge Cummins. Every rancher loves a good old Cummins. Trash can on wheels. They'll sell every once in a while. I, I'm joke. That's a joke. That's a joke. Uh, yeah, uh, I gotta say something bad about Ford. Uh, Ford suck. Okay, we're even. But uh, anyways, what I'm trying to get at... Hey, seriously, Chevy people, don't kill me. But uh, anyways, what I'm trying to get at is I want to do something crazy. And so last night, we did something crazy. We bought ourselves a new Chevy. A lifted Chevy. A fairly well-lifted Chevy with what I think is probably... 130 inch tires. You guys may have seen her in the thumbnail, but I got the keys to her right in the desk here. Drum roll, please. We bought a 2020 Chevy 3500 Dually oh, with, with like 100 inch tires on here. This is it, boys. This is it. Holy crap. I'm going to jump on in here. Let me grab the step ladder real quick. Oh, dude. Oh, my gosh. This is absolutely crazy. And, well, we're just going to do crazy stuff. We're probably going to go mud with it. And then also, also, there's something crazy with the new Tremor that came out and a new 2020 Chevy. It's just going to be all new crazy exotic trucks that come to RCC today. Holy crap. You know what they say? The bigger the truck, the bigger the be Oh man. It might be it might be the bigger the truck, the smaller the pe Yeah. Shoot. I think it's bigger the truck, the smaller the pe Gosh, darn it. Hey Grant, make sure you edit this one out. This joke isn't going to do you any justice. Yeah, you guys may look at the truck and be like, "Well, squad, you have one thing missing, man. Where's your light bar? I know. That's one thing we're going to put on the truck. It needs a light bar. Other than that, it'll be a perfect truck, man. So, well, I guess the only thing to do, you got to go drive her around town. First of all, I'm just going to drive her through our pond here. Holy crap, dude. By the way, shout out to Keith, because Keith sent me this. It's a completely private mod. I don't think he can give it out because it's got, like, a lot of private parts on it. But, holy crap. Oh, she kind of flexes a little. Okay, maybe not. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> Come on. My gosh, we're the same height as this Ford here. And it's up on like a ledge. Oh my gosh. I wonder if I can fit in the gas station. I think we can. Where's the gas station? Oh wait, oh shoot. I thought the gas station was right there. I think we're going to fit underneath the gas pump. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this point of view on it is... Oh, holy crap. Are we going to fit? Oh my gosh, dude. This is crazy. This is crazy. I love this. What I'm going to do is load that mother trucker up and we're going to go take her on a little mud adventure. I got to grab a trailer and well, we'll grab. Oh, wait. Hey, since it's a GMC and I got the 2020 and later today we're buying a 2020. Well, let's just get a 2020. That didn't make sense at all, but 2020. So check this out. There's this new Denali. Now, it starts out like this, but you can build it out pretty insane. So cab lights, of course we need cab lights, and I'm just going to go. Now, Denali, wait a sec. Oh, it'd be cool, but the Denali on the GMC only goes to like, you got to have like sleek like luxury colors you can't just have not that red isn't a luxury color but you gotta have like that wine like maroon red and when we do this red well it's just it's not the the nice udim color so for now i'm just gonna go with a black color because i think it'll probably just look best this may be a little too much chrome because i don't know if the mirrors on this are usually chrome but pretty much everything you can change you're asking where's the front bumper right here dude there we go oh besides it's got to be black and there's so many. Okay, I thought you could get the bumper black, but maybe not. Wait, never mind. You can. So you can. I'm trying to think for the Denali if you can paint that. 
I think it's chrome. I'm pretty sure it's a chrome bumper for the Denali. So we'll keep that chrome. Does it have a red logo? Let's just go black logo because that looks cooler. I'm trying to match this up the best I can to like a stock Denali if you were to buy that. Because this truck, this truck sounds cool too. I've driven this truck. Fenders, we'll just go body, I think. Yeah. We'll upgrade the Duramax. Denali grill, of course. There's a couple other grills. You could almost, honestly, you could maybe make this an AT4. But the question is, the AT4, the GMC AT4, do they sell it as a dually? I don't know. Oh, there we go. Color matched front bumper. Bed liner, you can put bed liner in. And if you're a big snowplower, there's so much snowplow features you can put in this. Machine Modding had made this, uh, had made this since on their Patreon. I'll probably link, link up their Patreon. I think Chrome just looks a little weird. It's like just too much Chrome. You know, I, I, I'm kind of a Chrome guy. We'll just go black mirrors like that. Mirror cap. There we go. That's looking pretty good. Side steps. Oh, you can put a side step in the body. I think that's how it is. Or you could probably go. Let's keep the black plastic. There we go. And then you can put plow mount. And then there's just like tons of salt spreaders that you can put on the back, which is pretty cool. So for now, we're just going to go stock, of course. And then, hey, why not put a... Oh, wait. Hold on. No. We're not going to beacon. The mini strobe bar looks pretty cool on this truck. That's what we're doing. There we go. Maybe I should have kept with the chrome mirrors. I think they would have looked good on this truck. But interior of this truck, it's pretty good. I think the like dash and a lot of the interior is from the older truck. I'm really sure. It seems like. But... I don't know. It looks good. The only thing is, maybe I should have went with the chrome mirrors. This might have looked a little better on here. But guys, also when I diss Chevy, it's just a joke. I always try to diss Ford right after that somehow. I know it doesn't mean the same because I'm just doing that in retaliation. But it's just, at the end of the day, it's just a joke. So we got a fifth wheel in here. So what I plan to do is load up. Why are my tires like sinking in the ground? Anyways, what I plan to do is load up the monster truck. We could drive down the road. It's street legal technically, I think. But we're just going to halt with this. You guys want to know what happens when you let Buck borrow a truck for a day? Turns out like this. An F350 XL Black with a green... What did he do to my truck? And he took off the duels. It's like he stripped them off and just put single... What the heck? Okay, this thing needs some work. Holy crap, Buck. No, but in all seriousness, what happened is Buck upgraded the F-Series. And that's what we're going to get to later today because there's now a tr tremor and there's def uh, tons of different tire options and stuff on it. You get XL, which is Buck's favorite. He just like XL trucks. I can't stand XL trucks. They're the basic work trucks. Sometimes you can make them look good, but sometimes it's tough too, in my opinion. Duramax, 6.6 .6 liter GMC Denali. Let's hook her up. It's all the big beast over there. She's hooked. She's ready to rock and roll. We've got the big techs on here. So I'm going to pull around. Now, I don't think on this truck the mirrors can do any adjustments. On some trucks, because this is uh, this is in-progress truck. It's only available for testers, so you got to be a part of like, his Patreon page. So I think he's still working on it, uh, machine modding. So I don't think you can move the mirrors yet. I don't know if that's going to be a feature or not. You should hear the turbo on this thing. Once we once it gets spooling up, whew, sounds good. Okay, <laughs> the 2020 is going up on there. Now the question is, will it fit on there? I think it'll fit. I think we'll be good. Holy crap. Next camping video, I'll use this. We'll use this pickup truck. Well, I think I'm going to fit. Oh my god. Yeah, buddy. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's haul her. GMC hauling the Chevy. They're pretty much the exact same truck. Besides, obviously, different tires and things like that. I absolutely love GMC's front end. It looks pretty cool. If anything, maybe the headlights are just a tad, tad too small, if that. But if you guys saw the new F-150s, they're like secret undercover just getting revealed. A lot of people are saying Ford just copied GMC's front end. And it does look like it. If you look at the 2021 F-150s, they're almost looking like the 1500 GMC's. Kind of, kind of interesting. Okay, let's hold this puppy on down to the mud arena, the mud fest. I'd love 
if I could just make my own mud fest mud arena back here and maybe that's something I could potentially do I gotta talk to some people that'd be cool to just have it at RCC so that we don't have to haul the random farmers lane and then tear up his lane now one thing GMC and GM does right in their trucks I can tell from just driving these trucks oh shoot it looks like Ah, shoot, it looks like some people are already tearing it up down there. Ah, man. Well, we'll just have to go to that other end of the farmer's lane. We got the GMC buried. <laughs> the GMC is stuck, so we just had to unload and go from here. By the way, I gotta say, if you guys enjoyed this video, RCC or anything, please help me out by hitting that like button. Here she is, the moment we've all been waiting for. I don't have any doubts that this thing's gonna get stuck, but... You could literally, it's taller than the corn. You could buy this truck, get a tax right off for the tires, start spraying your corn with the, with the truck. Just pull the sprayer right behind her. Holy crap. This is insane. I, I need to find something deeper. Like, this is nothing. This is nothing. You won't even have to wash your truck after this. The mud's not even going to reach up to get to your body even. Oh my gosh. Let her rip. Let her eat. Come on, Dermax. You can do it. Make it. Oh, holy crap. No, no, no. Oh, shoot. Okay, okay, let's stop. Lay off of her. Darn it. We were right here. And then we got stuck. Come on. You can make it. We're so close. There we go. Okay, let's load up. I gotta find a name for the monster truck. I don't even know if I want to call it monster truck for the 2020. For the big old 2020. Man, doesn't that look so realistic right there? Like that shot. Man. She's loaded. Let's get hauling. Oh. I love the little strobe on top. That's cool. Now, once we get back, I also, oh shoot, that's not the entrance. Once we get back, I also want to develop, I want to put in an order for Ford's new Tremor. And I want to build it out. Trust me. I, for some reason, I just love building trucks out. And the way Buck, if you guys know, is the one that, I shouldn't say made the F-Series, but I think I said made the F-Series. He's going to, he's going to kill me if he hears me make that, but, or say that. But he edited the F-Series again with a different version. And there are so many options on that truck. Put in some names for this bad boy. You gotta. If you have any name available, put it in the comment section. I want to see a couple names for this. Because we got to choose a name. And then also, I feel like RCC is kind of the same thing. And I've been doing RCC the same way forever. Just like get into new trucks, sell new trucks, build them out real cool. Don't get me wrong. I love building them out. I love talking about them. Obviously, you guys know I talk too much. But I think there's definitely something we could do to change it up. And I want to do that. So also, if you have any ideas for RCC in the future, I've got a couple in my sleeve, but we'll see. And of course, the monster is definitely going to go up here. <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go. Okay. And now for the Ford. I want to build out this Tremor because, like I said at the beginning, the Tremor we built out was kind of... It wasn't a true tremor. It didn't have the true wheels. This one that we're about to build out for its website is pretty crazy. And of course, we gotta go diesel. This is where the tremor starts. This new Super Duty, and Buck told me to tell you guys, like it's he doesn't have a date and there's so much work to be done to it yet that it's not gonna be released for a while. There's older versions of this truck with different options, but it's not as it's pretty much it's pretty close to this, but not as in detail to where you can make the tremor out. So we'll keep the trimmer as an F-250. Of course, we got to go diesel on this truck. Plow prep winch. Ooh, we could put a winch. Let's keep a winch on it. Okay, winch on the trimmer. 250 for bumper hitch options. We could put a gooseneck, but honestly, if you're hauling heavy with a gooseneck, you just, let's just keep stock drop. A trimmer, F-250. We'll just keep a stock pintle on there. That'll be good. Steps. I don't know if I want any yet. Okay, now XLT, so we could go all the way up to a Platinum. So you can go, with the Tremor, you can go pretty much anything. Uh, where is, there's a Lariat, K2, 
Keen Ranch. I feel like if you're going to get a Keen Ranch Tremor, that because you can get the Keen Ranch interior, I think, in the Tremor, and I think you can get, I know you can get a Platinum for sure. We'll keep this as a Platinum, but honestly, most people that buy a Tremor will probably end up getting like the XLT trim or maybe Lariat. I don't think you'd buy the Platinum because it's like this crazy off-road vehicle and then you got the crazy nice Platinum. It just, I don't think it aligns the best. But we'll just go XLT. I don't think, actually, yeah, let's just go XLT. Let's build this on a budget a little bit. So XLT is the interior I have on my truck. In real life, it's cloth. It gets the job done. It's nothing fancy. Now, okay, let's at least get these colors done. Because stuff is going to start changing. So main color for the Tremor. I don't think there's a blue jeans metallic. It's almost like a different blue. I think white, Oxford white on the Tremor looks so dang good. So with everything, we're going to go Oxford white. Now bumper. So the doors are black. I think honestly the door handles are probably white. If you were to get a white one, I would guess. I know that's blacked out too. There we go. We got the bumper. Now I do want to get rid of this. This I think it's called, oh, what's it called? Like a valence or something? I think. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get rid of that. That's one thing that on the Tremor usually it has like a really short one. Well, it's kind of small, I guess. It's pretty small. So, wheels and tires. This is where it gets good. First of all, we need mud flaps on the Tremor. But wheels and tires, check this out. Oh, the Goodyear Wrangler Duratrax. That's exactly what it is. And they look so good on this thing. Okay. So bumper, I could put, I, I don't know if I need, nah, let's, let's not. Stock bed, yeah, we'll keep your stock bed. Actually, I could put a black toolbox. That would look, oh, 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 okay, now, black toolbox is what we're doing. I think it's add-ons. That's a chrome toolbox. Can I change the color of the toolbox? Oh, we could put a, oh, there we go, toolbox. And then this time it's, it looks black. No, it might be chrome. Yeah, it's chrome. Scrum can't do that. It'd be cool if it was black. Ramps, it's a tremor. We're gonna be hauling an ATV or something. Let's put the ramps in. So that means there's ramps in the bed. Okay, now mud flaps take a truck from looking pretty cool to just amazing, in my opinion. You need mud flaps on trucks. It'd be cool if these were like blacked out, but I'm not complaining. Now, drivetrain. This is where it all makes sense. The tremor. Dang, because we got that decal now. And then roof options, I could put a moonroof in there. Oh, that looks good. So I want to buy one in white, and then I just want to see what it would look like if we want all shadow black. Dang, that looks pretty good too. But I think there's something wrong. The bumper is a little weird. That's the only thing I'm running into. The bumper doesn't seem right for some reason. It seems like there's, oh, it's because we want XLT. Dang. Yeah, it's because we want XLT. That looks good. So this is an F-250, and then I changed it to platinum this time. Tremor still, of course, but it's got the platinum badging, platinum interior, and then the grill did change a little bit. This looks pretty dang good, too. We're going to buy one of these. Check this out, dude. Looks so good. Now I wonder if you can get an eight-foot box on a Tremor. I don't know if you can if you can do that or not. Oh, also all these features. First of all, you got your wipers. Then you can actually roll down. Oh, darn it, wrong one. You can actually roll down your window. <laughs> and you can roll down all four of them too. And then we got here. Here, I'll pull up the menu. Wait, what does this do? Is that a button? Oh, I thought that was a button. So rear window, I just opened the rear window, the rear sliding window. That's how much detail Buck puts into this thing. Close topper door. Oh, if you have a topper. And then ramps. We even got ramps for the truck. 
Now, what's interesting is it'll be, it'll be interesting to see if farmers use this truck. Because when you think about it, this is a solid, this would be solid for a farmer. You got off-road suspension. You got big dirt tracks on there. But the only thing is the towing and payload capabilities are a lot lower, I think. And then here's the good old Platinum. Tell you what, Buck really got the wheels and tires down. I love this with the wheels and tires. Look at those beefy things. And he's got the stock rim on there, the ones that actually would come with it. Dang. Oh, she's squatting, boys. <laughs> Look at her. She's a squatting. Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, by the way, so this is the XLT interior. You can see it's cloth. And then it's got, like, it, it even doesn't have the full console here. It's got the fold-up seat. And then if we jump in the, the platinum, oh, it's the red, the reddish maroonish leather, and it's got the full, the full uh, console thing here, cup holder thing. But one thing, tow mirrors. Gotta, yep, there we go. Tow mirrors are out. These are dangerous. You gotta be careful with them. If you've seen other RCC episodes, you know what I mean. He's a pullin'. Oh, also, for you Chevy fans, Buck is actually working. Honestly, Buck has been putting out some crazy good mods. But he's actually working on a 2019, 2018, or 2017, like that kind of model year, Chevy Heavy Duty Series. So, if we've seen Buck's work in the, work in, work in the past, he's going to be putting those options on a truck like this. And that's going to be, if we have, if we have a Chevy... A nice heavy duty Chevy optioned out with a with like this. Oh man, we have so many pickup trucks in here. Our Chevys were selling like crazy, and I finally got well. I got one more in. Hey, I, I guess I got two more in. I should say when I say Chevy GMC, I, I I mean the same thing. GM. She's here. We just gotta figure out where to put her. Look at these. I love these dirt tracks on here. They make the truck look good. Look beefy. But anyways, guys, this is going to be the end. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. Thanks to Keith again for sending me this. And thanks to, for, uh, to Buck for that uh, F-Series. That's still private for now. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed it, smash the like button. Hey, I'll see you later. Hope you have a good day, guys. Thanks.